Okay, right. Um, here's the first uh, cut of the 20 metre moxon. It's a bit of a, a large beast. Um, we're looking at probably uh, 8 metres width without looking at a bit of paper I think you'll find that is roughly the width. So this is quite tight and it's even to a good size UK garden. It doesn't leave much room. Um, it's working very nice broadband uh, performance wise. Very good. Very impressed so far. We haven't had, we haven't had a chance to do an A-B test of comparison other than running up and down the garden with a radio tuning into the same station but um, initially it looks like it's doing better than the cobweb by uh, over an S point comfortably and there's absolutely no noise um, the cobweb's no slouch when it comes to uh, uh, omnidirectional so obviously this is showing it's uh, marked between an S1 and S2 uh, so more on more on that sometimes, but um, it's hard to tell for definite. So we'll do that in the future. We'll um, do a proper an A/B test. Here's a bit better close up of the um, antenna so far. There's a one-to-one -one choke in there. Uh, FT um, 43 core wrapped. Uh, with coax, eight turns of coax. So a really good choke. And. Uh, as we said before, we've got six metre long uh, fishing rods, chopped down obviously. I don't know if you can see that very well out here. The base plate, well that was an old uh, sign, too, well old sign cut down and um, put two halves together, two bits of three mil to get it up to six, which I was looking for. You'd need six because it does bow a bit if you... Uh, study it, it's very slight bow to it, so uh, I wouldn't want to go any lower. The weight is extremely good, new bolts are homemade, and uh, wing nuts for uh, ease of access on the portable days, throw it together very quick. Uh, very impressive uh, package really, very happy with the way it's turned out so far. Thanks then, 2E0 VOV, saying 73s. Bye-bye.